Drew here again. Uh, beer for breakfast, snacks for snacks. Um, you knew this was going to come, and as you can read the title, you're like, and I watched this guy, and yeah, you do. Who doesn't want to watch Drew? Um, you know, uh, I am who I am, uh, and you knew it was coming. I got a couple macros this week I'm going to have to do. I got more craft, uh, small cans in the fridge that during the week I'm going to have to do. Uh, they're actually blood, blood, blood brothers from Toronto, but I'm not doing that today. I already did my craft, I'm going to do one macro. Uh, and the macro I'm going to do uh, is a macro, but I don't know if it's a macro. Does this go into the craft beer scenery? Because this is brewed by Moosehead, really. If you think about James Ray Brewing Company. I already did the 6.0. Now I'm just doing the 5.5. One of my favorite two gold beers to drink if I'm not drinking those expensive craft beers. $2 a can. Uh, and it's brewed, uh, this one's brewed James Ray Brewing Company, Brampton, St. John, New Brunswick. St. John, that is Moosehead. Now, big theory out there and everyone's going to attack me on this they're either going to agree with me or not agree with me but I still think Moosehead is independently owned which means they are actually still craft beer not saying this is craft lager at all uh, this is more into you know the uh, the Budweiser shots the cold shots that I reviewed and did a double review with them um, they're out there to get people hammered. If you drink a, a shitload of these, it's going to get you hammered. 5.5%. It's that. It's a good beer. Uh, so, why not review it for you guys? I'm just doing it for you guys. I'm not doing it to uh, to piss you off and then you're going to take me off. And if you want to describe, describe. I don't give a shit. This is my channel and I want to do it. So, and if you don't like it, go on. Go watch your, uh, you know, your uh, little other people out there, right? Drunk Pokeroo, go ahead, because he doesn't do stuff like this. Oh, wait, yes, he does. Every once in a while, I'll get a Pabst Blue Ribbon on there, or Old Milwaukee or something. So don't tell me everyone drinks craft all the time. I'm just saying. Here we go. Four to pour. Clear. Filtered. That's it. Look at that. It's a beaut. This is a lager. This is one of those lagers that are meant to be drank. And I'm over spilling. Doesn't that look fantastic, guys? The upside down snowfall. The big head on here. I uh, poured it quite harsh. But who cares? Look at that. Look at that view. Look at that head, though. Actually, see, when I drink this, I usually drink it out of the can. These are your canned beers that you just crack open and start drinking. I really never poured this one in a glass and I'm actually quite impressed I'm quite impressed with this so you get your little malty your hoppy and I get like an apple smell an apple or a pear smell some sort of fruit there's some sort of fruit in here uh, this is what I get um, but it smells like a lager if this is mass produced they probably brew this in ten different thing, ten different uh, barrels, and then and then just out the door, out the door, right? It's this old Milwaukee Canadian, all that just brewed. It is what it is. Let's go for a taste, guys. Uh, forget, I never drink this out of a glass, so this could actually be a little different for me now. And I usually drink it out here. Um, Okay, it's smooth. Alright, that's very smooth. The head's sticking around. I am impressed with the head actually. I, that's a bonus right there. That head has lacing on it. What? James Reddy 5.5 has lacing? Are you out of your mind? No, I'm not. This is this is quite impressive. Wow. See, and I don't do it enough. I don't do it enough where I pour these in two glasses and I am very impressed with that. That is one hell of a good looking lager. Wow, okay, um, taste wise, a little malt, a little hoppy, right? There's probably about seven or eight IBU in this. 
Uh, it's not supposed to be too hoppy. This is supposed to be your sit outside on the deck and have a few beers. Uh, it's $2 a tall can, $47.95 for a 2 4 so you know, $2 a tall can. Try something different, guys. And if you are stuck onto those Bud Lights or those Michelobes, uh, Ultra, or whatever it is, oh, excuse me, which I should do a review on a Michelob Ultra for you. Um, so go buy a single can of James Ready 5.5. You, you'll be impressed. You'll be like, oh, that actually has flavor. A little bit of apple, a little bit of pear, malt. Um, it's not bad. It literally isn't a bad beer. Uh, there's no aftertaste to this. When you have a Mosin Canadian, uh, a Budweiser, uh, and I, I haven't done Canadian yet, but I know exactly what it tastes like. Um, and you, uh, a Budweiser, there's an aftertaste. Unless it's pretty much ice coming out of the can or whatever, there's an aftertaste to Budweiser. Uh, and you, uh, you don't get nothing. You can just chug this back. Like there's no aftertaste at all. That's smooth. For macro, and I'm going to do macro rating, macro rating, even though I think this could be classified into craft scenery, but it's just mass produced. I'm going to go macro rating. Uh, <clears throat> for James Ray, 5.5. Look at that solid seven, eight. That yeah, seven, eight would be perfect. Uh, it's better in blue. Uh, yep, it's definitely way better in the bat blue. Um, seven, eight, guys. Try something different. Don't be afraid to. And like I said, it's not always about craft beer on my channel. Sometimes you're going to get these. Sometimes you're going to get girly drinks. Right? It is what it is. Sometimes you're going to get wine. I have two different kinds of wine in there. That I want to review for you guys so anything out there that you guys want me to review if you want me to go get uh, a certain kind of vodka and if I could find it say in a Mickey for 13 bucks or something I'll pick it up for you and I'll do a review for you anything I'll do a review for anything you guys want okay if I if it's available here in Ontario okay all right like comment and subscribe seven eight try something different I can't express it enough Always try something different. Don't stick to your same same thing all the time. Like I said, go pick up your case of Budweiser and then go over there and say, oh, Collective Arts, what is that? That can's pretty cool. Just grab one can and try it. It may change your life forever. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow after work. Cheers, guys.